Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Today I'm going to show you how to make a visual landing with the SU-27. We are going to use Nellis Air Force Base as our training ground. This is where we're going to land. Now, the basic procedure of the visual landing is pretty simple. We just have to start the approach at the right location at the right altitude. This location is called the Initial Point, OIP. It is located in the runway axis at about 20 kilometers from the threshold. Now, how to get there? Very simple. We just have to contact the ATC, telling them that we are inbound, and they will give us an approach vector to the Initial Point. Let's do that now. I'm opening the radio menu, F5 for ATC, F1 for Navy Air Force Base, and I'm stating that I am inbound. Okay. Um, We've been instructed to fly heading 252 for about 60 kilometers. That's what we're going to do right now. So 270. 260. and 252. Okay. Now we're flying towards the initial point. We're not there yet. Um, we still have 50 kilometers to go. In the meantime we're going to set our altimeter according to the pressure given by uh, the ATC. The pressure is the pressure, the barometric pressure at the um, at Nelis. And we're going to set the altimeter correctly. So 712, 712.54. Right, okay. This gives us an altitude of 3,300 meters above the ground at Nelis. Now, the last piece of information we got was the runway number. The runway open to us is runway 21 and we are going to visually check if we can see it. Yes, we can. So this is the airbase. We can see the two runways here. So 21L and 21R. We're going to land on 21R. ATC didn't say anything about that, so let's pick one, which is 21R. We're approaching the IP and we're going to start our descent and level off at a thousand meters. Let's do this now. Pitching down, reducing throttles, extending air brake. Monitoring the relative position of the runway. So this is the atmospheric altimeter. When we are 1500 meters above the ground, the radar altimeter activates, but for landing at the initial point, this is not what we want to use. So we keep our eyes on the barot barometric altimeter for now. Okay, let's level off. Yeah. 
Yeah, 1,000 meters, 1,100 meters. Going to keep going down for a bit. Okay. Let's trim the plane. Let's reduce speed. And let's check the runways. Okay, I'm going to reduce my speed to 400 kilometers per hour. Try not to lose too much altitude. Okay, we're going to intercept the axis of the runway. It's time to start turning. It's a slow turn. We're not in a rush. As we are at 400 kilometers per hour, we can set our aircraft in landing configuration by lowering the gear, extending the flaps, and turning on the landing lights. Okay, now that we are facing the runway, we have to maintain a rate of descent of 4 meters per second and an angle of attack of 7 to 8 degrees. We have to trim the plane and manage the throttles to achieve the right flying parameters. So we align with the runway. Our rate of descent is good for now. The angle of attack is good too. Let's try to keep the runway threshold in the lower third of the HUD. Keep it there by managing the rate of descent. If I feel a bit too low, I need to apply more power to reduce my rate of descent. If I feel I'm too high, I just have to reduce throttles and increase my rate of descent. I'm going to formally request landing. I can see that uh, the landscape is fairly flat around here, especially in front of the runway, so I'm now going to use the radar altimeter to monitor my altitude. So what we want to do is to start ferrying at 30 meters above the ground. So we're close to the runway. Let's try to visualize where we're going to touch down. Let's aim for the threshold. 
Let's aim for the Shriss Hall first. And when we flare, it will take us on a touchdown area. Okay, 30 meters. Let's start the flare and reduce the rate of descent to 1 meters to 1 meter a second. Okay, let's align and touch down. Extending the air brake. I'm going to let the nose fall slowly and I'm going to extend the drag chute. I'm braking and I'm exiting now. I can detach the drag chute. I retract my air brake. My flaps are up. I turn off the landing light. I turn on the taxi light. And I can go to the parking area. Okay, so we're good. We have landed at Nellis Air Force Base. This was a visual landing. We did not use any navigation instruments and we didn't use the ILS. Thank you for watching.